Long winter wait is over. They come into the trioval, and we are green in 2017 in Arca. Hazard with the early jump. Tip falling back, looking for a push for the sergeant. Weatherman can get down to the inside right now. He has room if he wants to. He's not going to do it, though. So he'll stay up high, and that will allow Tip to make up some room in the NOS car. And I have to believe that this was the plan to get these two Toyotas out front, the 25 of Hazard and the 18 of Tip. Weatherman's doing a nice job in that 78 car, leading his teammate. Cas Grala in the 88. And Grala is the youngest in this field, 18 years old, the biggest track he's ever run on, a half mile. And now he's in Daytona. Yeah, Cas will be looking to run the full schedule in the truck series next year for GMS Motorsports. So you get some great experience here today. Inside of the 11. You got a little bit sideways there. And then there was contact. The 34 William Mullins was trying to give him some extra room. It ended up bouncing off of the 11. The 83 had a little bit of help from behind, turned him around. Could have been a lot worse, Kevin. We had a big one on the second lap last year, so we dodged that one. I'm not sure that Dowza didn't have some sort of an issue because he got all four tires down below yeah. the double yellow line. He may have had some sort of an issue. Or he thought that something bad was about to happen, and I want to get out of the way. Pit stops, his first live pit stop as we take a look back at what happened to Dowza. I think the right rear tire went down on Dowza's car. You can see it's down already right there. That thing really snapped around pretty quick. Probably had something to do with the damage from that earlier incident. Early in oh, trouble. Oh, and a big hit that Thompson took. Multiple incidents on this one. LeBeau and on fire, that's Baccarella. AJ Fike, the 27 car, also with fire trailing. Looked like the 66 of Mark Thompson got a bit of a bump and from that white and red car. And then Lyric came by and collected Thompson again. And then Baccarella and LeBeau in front. Once one thing happens, it's everyone reacting, trying to be evasive. And they're running so tight there, especially right after a restart, we were double file for, for 12, 15 rows. Let's watch the top of the screen now. There's going to be the bump right there. That turned Mark Thompson right into Gus Dean. Oh, hard, hit hard hit. Michael Lira. John Ferry, their 16 car around in the middle of the racetrack. Let's see what we see on board from Gus Dean. The 32 degree cooling products. Absolutely zero warning. Yep, and nothing you can do. Not one thing that he could do. He's just along for the ride at this point. No and trouble. there we have a big one in the back. Michael Self is involved as well as Thomas Prater. There's Andy Sice, Quint, Quint Hauf right there, the 98 also involved. See the green car, Leilani gets a little bit of a bump from Bola Mastis it looked like. That turned her into the outside into Thomas Prater. You can see Terry Jones obviously in front here. And again, it all depends. You see the caution lights flashing, so it will be Terry Jones, our leader, when we restart this race. In See the this sparks. Caution, There's Michael Self. Tonight. He's going to jump to the inside. But unfortunately, that's where Bola Mastis and Thomas Prater both went. You see Thomas Prater made some contact with the right side of Michael Self's car. Doesn't look, hopefully, not a great deal of damage to the right side of that Sinclair car. There's Ed Pompa going by in the, in the 10 with a lot of damage. A little bit more contact. Here's Leilanti. She's going to get a bump and turns her right in to Thomas Prater. Again, here's the 28 of Michael Self. You see the bump right there. Michael thinks he's going to be okay, but unfortunately, gets a little bit of contact on the right side. I think he avoided. You see the bump from Bo. And then he gets into Prater. Yeah. 
There's a see the damage between Prater and Michael Self. See, so Ed Pompa go by on the outside. He's going to make contact. There he is with the outside wall. Pretty significant contact. Quinn Hauf already made contact with a 98. So this one would be nice if that out. Oh, contact. And hard into the wall. And That's it looks like the 33 of Fontaine is on his on side. His lid now. See, Bobby Gerhardt. Also involved. Gerhardt in the five. And we are under caution with five to go at Daytona. Top of the screen yeah. first. No, from the bottom to the yeah. top. Look like maybe Kaz Grala might have got into the 58 car of Clint King to maybe start this. And again, everybody's out there pushing and shoving and not trying to give up any room whatsoever. You see the 33 of Fontaine sliding on his roof and it's going to tip back over. So how difficult. There's another view. Looked like there might have been some contact there and that Ooh. got. The 58 of Clint King I think into Justin Fontaine's 33 car. Cody Robaugh Bobby Gerhardt came along with absolutely nowhere to go. You see Derek Lancaster. Gets into the outside wall right in front of them. Wild ride in the Promatic car for Justin Fontaine. It eases over on its roof. That the, the encouraging thing is there was not a hard hit. I mean, you have hard flips and easy flips. That was a relatively easy flip. Under the red flag, heavy cleanup and some damage to the safer barrier. And because of that, we are not going to be able to resume as what I'm hearing at this point. So this one is going to be official. And Austin Terrio is a winner at Daytona in the ARCA Racing Series. Congratulations to Austin Terrio, his second career win in just his third start. And what a start to 2017 for Austin Terrio. Could be the start of a championship run for him. He, he made the pass on the outside so hard to do. You can see there's crew chief Don, Donnie Richardson right there and his crew celebrating. Austin Terrio is a winner here at Daytona International Speedway in his first start with Ken Schrader racing. Austin, you're here in victory lane in your first start with Ken Schrader racing. What does this mean to you? And tell us how your race was out there. Well, that was unbelievable. I, I'm so happy right now. It's we had we had too much time to sit around and I'd probably be crying right now if we would have gone back green. I know we would have had a good enough car to, to take the checkered flag, but man, I got to thank a lot of people, the Schraders, the Cunninghams, um, Gary Shearer, a lot of people that made this possible. We're off to a good year. These guys are awesome. Um, they, they do anything for us, and, it, and that's what's going to make us successful this year. Um, oh man, Orlando Longwood Auto Auction came on board last minute. You know, they helped us get here, so if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. So, man, we're off to a good season, and we're off to a good start, and uh, looking forward to what, what comes. Congratulations. Thank you.